Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is now episode 4 and we are starting today's episode out by putting some of the younger players onto the loan market. So it's something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while now but I've just it just totally slipped past my mind. But the young players I'm definitely going to be sending out on loan. Not so much the players like Brown Hill and Brown as I feel that they'll be useful in some of the cup games and possibly even in the league fixtures. But some of the younger players like Anderton, Heat and etc. will be going out on loan. But uh, some more players that we're interested in here, Thierry. Ambrose is a player I'm definitely interested in for the future. Someone suggested him on Twitter, so thank you for that, and definitely a player I will be looking at. Perhaps maybe in January, not at the current time. And obviously Paddy McCarthy, who has actually joined Preston on loan in real life. We... He's got one year remaining on his contract and he is only a sporadic first team player. So I thought I'd put a bid in for him of 200 grand. See if that would come off or not. But going into the first game of today's episode, guys, we are against Bristol. And this is the team I decided to go for. Still sticking with the five of the back formation as it worked quite well last episode. But getting straight into the highlights now, we do start off on the upper foot against Bristol here. With a good chance, Bradley Dak forcing the goalkeeper into a good save there. But in the end, we couldn't manage to follow up with anything. But Bradley Dak has been an absolutely stellar signing for for us so far. He has been absolutely terrific, but Bristol then come forward and do this. A... I don't even know what I can say about this. They swing a ball and it hits the crossbar and Pickford's distracted by that and then from the rebound the ball ricochets off the crossbar and then player manages to put it into the back of the net. Really unfortunate we are conceding a lot of these goals where it's just silly little things that are costing us. We shouldn't have really let that player get the cross in there. Pickford was obviously distracted by that and then the rebound there we couldn't do anything about it but we did need a win here and we really did need to bounce back from that horrific result we had last time against uh, Bolton which we lost 4-1 away from not seen that in the last episode, go watch it. But uh, DJ then goes on a good run, but his shot lacks any real conviction or power, and so the keeper is pretty easily able to scramble it. But then another chance here, Bradley Dak is fed in, and he manages to equalise it. It was actually Daniel Johnson with the run down the left-hand side, who did feed in Bradley Dak. The uh, Preston Pirlo, he looks just like Pirlo in this game, I already said that, but uh, like I said, Daniel Johnson here, fantastic work, and instead of going for the shot this time, he decides to feed in Bradley Dak, and Bradley Dak, through the goalkeeper's legs it was such a cheeky finish and look at that through the goalkeeper's legs absolutely fantastic and I believe that's his second goal of the season now for Bradley Dak definitely a lively player for us and he's going to be he I've said it a lot of times but he has been an absolute stellar signing for us and I'm very I'm very interested to see how he'll do this season but then we do get a corner and Joe Garner is on the end of it to put Preston into the in in the front and so 60 minutes in into the second half now and and that's just what we needed. We need something. And Joe Garner, who was very quiet throughout the first half, he did absolutely nothing. But it was a Gallagher Frick corner here. And Joe Garner manages to leap the highest. That's what Garner's all about. His aerial ability. And the goalkeeper there. Maybe a few questions asked. But that's what he's all about. His jumping. I believe on this game, Joe Garner's got something crazy. Like 90 jumping or something like that. And that's just what we need to utilise up front going forward. And Joe Garner there. Getting his first goal of the season. It's always what we like to see. And then Paul Gallagher with an absolute it's such a classic Paul Gallagher goal this and I don't know what it is but there's something about this kind of goal that every time Galli gets a goal it's always this sort of thing outside the box he goes for it places it in the bottom corner but he does very well here he manages to go past the man there and then picks his corner into the bottom of the net it takes a little bobble and that goal it was so satisfying when it when it went in it was just such a nice goal to score with Galli as last season if you watch my career mode Gallagher did absolutely nothing for me but this year he's been a very good player for us he's already been getting assists for us and he's now amongst the goals and that was a fantastic goal Perhaps Perhaps our best goal we've scored so far on this career mode. Maybe a goal of the season contender. Who knows? But in the end, that was actually how that match did finish. It did end 3-1 to Preston. So we we have well and truly bounced back from that awful result we got against Bolton in the last episode. Like I said, if you've not seen that episode yet, go watch out. There'll be an annotation on screen now. But uh, as you can see here, we do get an email back from Crystal Palace saying that they have accepted a bid from another team for Paddy McCarthy. So we won't be pursuing that deal any further. So going into the second game now of today's episode, we are against Fulham. I decided to switch up the formation a little bit, put Garner up front as a lone player, and then I decided to see how that would work with players sort of playing off him a bit more. But Fulham were definitely the team on top here in the first half. McCormack had a good chance there, but just wide of the target. And Fulham in this game, they'll be, they're a very strong team, and of course they've got a good team. So going away to Fulham, 
perform in real life, I'd be happy to take a point, and I, I, I was very happy to take a point from this match as well if we were able to do that. But Fulham just kept piling on the pressure in the first half. They get good, another good chance here, but Pickford this time is on hand to save it. When he actually saved this, I... When I was actually playing the match, I thought that this went in. It was a weird one, but he sort of tips it into the side netting. But I thought that that actually went in when I was playing the match. But from that resulting corner, that Pickford just saves. This happens. Scott Parker on the corner there. A very experienced player for championship level, of course. Parker whips it in. And then on the header, I'm not sure what Pickford's doing. It's what really annoys me about this game. Because I didn't call Pickford out then. I distinctly remember me not calling Pickford out. As he's not the biggest of keepers, Pickford. But the, for some reason, the game decided to pull Pickford out of his net without me doing anything and so therefore their player had quite an easy header with no goalkeeper in that there and Paul Huntington there just couldn't get his head to it. If you've not noticed I have dropped Reader Johnson for the last two matches the reason for that being he had an absolute shocker against Bolton but after this display from our lads conceding a couple of goals I might consider bringing him bringing him back into the team because you know, you know I'm I, it's a realistic thing at the moment, but then we do manage to make a fantastic uh, recovery from that with Paul Gallagher. Yet again, Joe Garner did all the hard work there, forcing the goalkeeper into a good save, but it was Paul Gallagher in the end who managed to finish it off for his second goal of the season. Now, Paul Gallagher in some terrific form at the moment. He was the man on the spot. He was there at the correct time, and Gallagher was presented with an open net. A first-time finish from Gallagher. Very professional of him to do, and that's just what we get from him. I am thinking that his best position is in behind the striker. Definitely not out wide although he can put a good ball in but playing in behind the striker I think definitely suits Paul Gallagher and he's done well for that you know he's repaid me in the last couple of matches but in the end guys that was actually how that match did finish it did finish as a 1-1 draw which in the grand scheme of things is not a bad result at all against a very accomplished and very well managed uh, Fulham team on this so continuing now with the player training, of course I am still training the same players and I'm really looking to grow Jordan Hugel. He's a player that I'm definitely looking to get up and grow a lot more. I'm really hoping I can get him to at least 60, 62 rated in the coming season by January as I'm definitely wanting to use him as he's done so well in real life lately that I want to be getting him into the squad. But we do then get a loan offer which we accept for Josh Heaton from Scunthorpe. He'll go out there and hopefully get some game time so that's all good. So going into the Charlton match now, so I had to stick with the same formation. I decided to leave Reader Johnson on the bench as well for this one. Still, you know, maybe if we have a bad defensive uh, game in this one, perhaps I'll then look about dropping him. But we then, we don't get off to a good start in this match. Charlton start on the upper hand and they managed to spin past our defence and put that into the top corner. Absolutely nothing that Pickford could do. And I'm sure that Pickford in this game is just like he is in real life. He'll just be angry with our defence because they're allowed to get in so easily. It's just one spin there. I believe that's on Paul Huntington. So for the, net, for the upcoming games, I'm probably going to be looking to drop Paul Huntington and perhaps bring Reader Johnson back into the team. Of course, yeah, it was Huntington. But because, you know, Reader Johnson, of course, he did have a bad game against Bolton, but he is still our highest rated defender and perhaps our highest rated player in the whole game at the moment. So I will be bringing Reader Johnson back into the team after this game. And considering how Paul Huntington, I gave him a chance, but he's not really stepped up to the mark when I've given him that chance. Charlton then in the first half kept coming forward, but Pickford this time made a good save. A, a bit of a triple save there really it was pretty lucky in the end and in the end we do manage to clear that and it was all good but Pickford there coming to our rescue with a triple save absolutely absolutely madness but just towards the end of the first half we do get a good chance there with Bradley Dak but their goalkeeper makes an absolutely terrific save to deny him his second goal of the episode it was a good chance here good shot inside the box but somehow their keeper manages to outstretch himself and manages to tip it wide which is very frustrating as it was a great chance then in the second half Stevie May has a good chance there but yet again Forces their keeper into a good diving save. And Stevie May can't break the deadlock here. May looking for his second goal of the season now. Bit of a shot at the keeper. But nevertheless, you know, we were looking to beat the goalkeeper from there. But Charlton in the second half, they were they were just as strong as they were in the first half. And just, I don't even know what that was. It was just mistakes all round. And then they managed to put the ball into the near post. But some very sloppy passing moves from us. I don't know, really know why we are. When we win the ball back here, we just try and play it back in. Try and be a bit... 
be a bit clever and that's just not we not what we want to be at the moment we want to be doing the basic stuff right and then in the final third perhaps do a bit more risky stuff but playing that ball in there is just absolutely idiotic and Pickford is yet again beaten at his near post he needs to sort that out there needs to be a training drill where Pickford can learn to save stuff at his near post but a good chance there for Charlton but Pickford that time did make a good save and he has been a good keeper for us this year Pickford and as you can see that it was a curling shot and Pickford manages to get a good strong hand to it and manages to deny them from having any chance then we do manage to get a chance here could we get a comeback here with Will Keane Oh, and he put the shot wide. I decided to bring on Will Keane from the bench, and honestly, he didn't have much of an impact other than this shot, which he should, he's got to be putting that on target. I'm seriously doubting Will Keane in this career mode. I'm doubting him in real life, but on this career mode, he really should be at least putting that on target. And to say that he put it wide was very... It's very concerning for, for the future, but that was how that match finished. Did finish in a 2-0 defeat, which was a bit disappointing, but, uh, you know, Charlton, it would have been a tough game anyway. So, here is our fixture list, what we currently have coming up. So, in the next episode, we'll see the games such as Forest, Reading and Middlesbrough. And after that, we have Wolves and Brentford. So, it'll be interesting to see how we fare against perhaps some of the more elite championship teams. But, as you can see there, that is the league table at the end of this episode, guys. We are currently in 12th, which isn't so bad. We are whereabouts I predicted we would be bouncing mid-table. But, that will wrap it up for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next one. I'll shoot you at the house. Boom, 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 boom. Ow, 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 ow. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you at the house. Boom, 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 boom.